Hello and welcome to my third installment of the Hardcore Iron Man Locked in a PvP World. A quick flashback back to episode 2, did Agility Pyramid for money. We got our first PK. We started the Winter Top grind. And we got Rings of Recoil. So now it's time to put the Rings of Recoil to good use. Starting by doing Priest in Peril. By doing this quest we're gonna unlock Canafis, which has a agility course which I will never use. But also Mortania. And this has a lot of content for the account. And that's one big dead dog. So the second fight was actually a lot harder than the killing of the dog because the monks of Samarak really heal fast. So recoil only did not really work. I could have used the main but I decided to just go all out and just get some experience. After thinking about it for a while, I decided just to send it. In the worst case scenario, I have my tallies, I have my cloak of our doing. We should be good. And that's quest complete. I made sure to start nature spirit for some free food, which is always useful. Yeah. Always nice to break up the skilling grind with a clue. More runes, always nice. Just got scouted at my hunter location. So we're switching it up and doing Demon Slayer. Run. Alright, it's time to get back to business, back to Hunter training. Hunter is gonna play a huge part in the account to get certain items. As soon we unlock Implinks, the Ninja, Dragon and Lucky Imp. I also try to keep up to date with my farming runs, because that's gonna be very important to be self-sufficient for, well, Slayer and Mostly Slayer. We can now catch Eclectic Implinks. As you can see there's a few upgrades on the screen. Doesn't seem like much, but it's gonna help a lot. And that's 4k dead runes. The kitten farm still going strong. Quickly did the Eagle's Peak quests and this unlocks box traps which we need for Chinchampas.
decided to get the looting back. Quite risky, but might be worth it in the long run. Uh, rather do it now when the account is pretty low. Uh, people up to level 40 can attack me. But I don't think there's many level 40s out here. Well, that took less than two minutes. There, there's no way. <laughs> what are the odds on this? Okay, that's the first pet. Thank you. Decided to risk it all, do the Rogue's Den mini game. It's gonna give some nice rewards, which will double money or seeds from uh, Master Farmers. But as you know, you cannot bring anything in there, so I have no food when entering or exiting the mini game. Nope. I only just saw his stats, but I still panicked. And there we go, the full outfit. Gonna help so much when thieving for seeds or making some money from knights. And of course, the fashion scape. And that's the new money maker unlocked, Knights of Ardoin. Dude, I was so confused. I was like, why does this Chinchampa not go into the stack? Alright, what's the bad luck? That's number two. New quest, 1k Slayer XP. I don't know if that's gonna work with recoils, but... We're gonna uh, give it a go. Okay, this boss heals too fast. There's no way we're killing him. Someone let me know if I could use a cannon here. That might, that might actually work. This is the most danger this account is gonna be in. While teething, having some lower XP and then getting attacked. Another day, another clue. Emote clue with the first stash unit. Um, we need five range and we're gonna get it. Hopefully it's worth it. Some runes, not too bad, not too great. Nice. Special shout out to Ant Boy.
decided to go back to the Varric Museum. I feel like we can get a little more hit points and be just a tiny bit more safe. We got sharks from a gourmet implim. That's the best food we got right now. And that's the end goal for now. 30 hit points. Thanks for watching guys. This is gonna conclude episode number three. The bounty hasn't changed. It's still 10 mil if you kill me. I want to increase the bounty soon. More details on that I'll definitely share as soon as possible. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed and have a nice day.